Hookworms are intestinal parasites of the cat and dog. Their name is derived from the hook-like mouthparts they use to anchor themselves to the lining of the intestinal wall. They are only about 2 to 3 millimeters long and so small in diameter that they are barely visible to the naked eye. Hookworms feed on the tissue fluids and blood of their host. The most common hookworms found in cats are Ancylostoma tubiform and Ancylostoma brasiliense. Occasionally, cats will also become infected with the dog hookworm, Ancylostoma caninum. Cats can rarely become infected by another dog hookworm. In general, cats tend to harbor relatively few hookworms when compared to the large numbers found in dogs. Also, the feline hookworms tend to be less aggressive bloodsuckers than the canine species. Hookworms are more common in warm, moist environments. Conditions of overcrowding and poor sanitation contribute to infection. Female hookworms pass hundreds of microscopic eggs in the cat's stool. The eggs are not visible to the naked eye. Larvae or immature hookworms will hatch from the eggs and stay alive in the soil for weeks or months. When a cat inadvertently swallows larvae, often by grooming its feet, a hookworm infection will become established. Most larvae that are ingested will move to the intestinal tract to complete their life cycle. A few larvae may make their way into the trachea and then coughed up and swallowed. The larvae may also burrow through the cat's skin and migrate to the lungs and trachea. The cat will then cough up and swallow the larvae which then migrate to the intestinal tract, where they may mature and complete their life cycle. It takes approximately two to three weeks for an infective female larva to mature and produce eggs. Clinical signs of feline hookworm infection. Evidence of hookworm infection includes anemia, the presence of digested blood in the stool, a black terry appearance to the stool, a poor hair coat, and weight loss. Feline hookworms tend to graze along the lining of the small intestine and are considered tissue feeders. When they do suck blood, an anticoagulant substance is injected at the feeding site which prevents the blood from clotting. Therefore, the cat can suffer blood loss from the hookworm's feeding, as well as continued bleeding into the bowel from the hookworm's attachment sites. Anemia due to blood loss is a more significant problem in kittens than adult cats. Skin irritation and itching, especially of the paws, can be signs of a heavily infested environment since the larvae burrow into and along the skin. Diagnosing hookworms in cats. Hookworm eggs and larvae are not visible to the naked eye, so diagnosis requires microscopic examination of the cat's stool. The stool is mixed with a solution that allows the eggs to float to the top of the sample, making them visible under the microscope. Hookworms typically reproduce on a daily basis, so infestations are easily noticeable. Some laboratories also test the cat's stool for hookworm antigens, which is an even more sensitive and accurate test. Once a cat tests positive for hookworms, there may be a need for additional testing, including a urinalysis and blood work, so your vet can determine the necessary course of action. These tests will look for low hemoglobin levels, which are indicative of anemia, and low kidney function resulting from dehydration. The necessity for these additional tests is determined by the cat's overall health and clinical signs. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Hookworm treatment for cats. A number of drugs and drug combinations are approved for the treatment of hookworm infections. In certain cases, killing the hookworms is not enough to save a severely affected cat's life. If there is a substantial amount of blood loss, a transfusion may be necessary to keep the cat alive until she can replace her own lost red blood cells. Iron and nutritional supplements may also be needed until iron levels return to normal. Pregnant cats infected with hookworms should be given the medication two weeks after breeding and continue treatment until two to four weeks after giving birth to get rid of any possible worms in the intestine and lower the risk of infecting their newborn kittens. Infected kittens should be given medication after they have reached three to four weeks of age and continue treatment once a month to ensure that all of the hookworms have been expelled. In severe cases, if the cat is dehydrated, hospitalization may be required. Fluids will be administered intravenously with frequent tests to ensure the heart and kidneys are responding well to the fluid therapy. Is there a cure for hookworms in cats? Yes, hookworms can usually be cured with medication. It's important to try to catch and treat the infestation as early as possible, as severe or chronic hookworm infestations can be seriously debilitating for your cat. Hookworms are contagious and can be passed not only to other cats but dogs as well. They can also be hazardous to humans, while the human infection is rare, it is possible. When caring for a cat with hookworms, it's important to wear gloves when cleaning the litter box and to wash your hands thoroughly. Recovery and Management of Hookworms in Cats If caught early on, 
The prognosis for recovery is excellent. How long it takes for your cat to feel better depends on your cat's clinical signs, as well as the treatment option prescribed by your veterinarian. Most medications begin to take effect within a few days, but you may be advised to continue administering medication for a longer period of time. You will need to schedule a follow-up visit three to four weeks after treatment is completed to ensure reinfestation does not occur. Preventing hookworms in cats. Proactively trying to prevent hookworm infestations will help keep your cat healthy. This is especially true for kittens, who are at a higher risk for hookworms. Some tips include, keep a clean environment, fecal matter and bodily fluids are common sources of parasites. Once you've dewormed your cat, a good way to prevent future infestations is to keep your cat's litter box and living area clean at all times. Monthly medication, monthly heartworm medications have been proven to prevent some types of internal parasites. Ask your vet whether a heartworm medication is right for your cat. Diet. A balanced, nutritious diet can help keep your cat healthy and strong. A weakened immune system leaves pets more susceptible to worms. Fecal exams. Adult cats should have their feces tested one to two times a year to check for parasites. Keep your cat indoors. Outdoor cats should be monitored very closely since they have a greater chance of coming into contact with infected animals and soil. They may also be drinking water from contaminated sources. Tests. Have your cat tested periodically for the feline leukemia virus, FALV, and the feline immunodeficiency virus, 5. Both of these viruses can weaken your cat's immune system and make them more susceptible to parasites and other illnesses. If you plan on bringing an additional cat or kitten into your home, be sure to have her tested for intestinal parasites before introducing her to your other pets. Deworming is important to your pet's overall health, especially for kittens, who are most susceptible to contracting worms. The following deworming schedule is often recommended for kittens. 2 weeks 4 weeks 6 weeks 8 weeks 12 and 16 weeks 6 months, and then a year later. However, not every kitten requires such a rigorous deworming schedule, so please consult with your veterinarian. Once your cat has reached adulthood, your vet can also advise on whether further deworming is needed. Hookworm infestations can be severely debilitating for your cat, and even fatal, particularly for kittens, so it's important to consult your vet immediately if you suspect your cat has been infected with hookworms. There is no vaccination available to prevent hookworms. Frequently deworming your cat, having regular fecal exams, and practicing good litter box hygiene can help control hookworm infections. The cost to deworm your cat depends on factors such as the area in which you live as well as the degree of infestation. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.